it's done. And I cleaned it up. Doesn't it look nice? And by the way, I never mentioned it's made by Arians, right? Strange name. ST 2 plus 2 Deluxe 5. So I think it has an auger, an impeller, but no rear wheel drive. It's like a lawnmower, right? You push it, but it, it's aided along by the rubber paddles like I showed you. And uh, put new fuel lines on it. Put a new coil in it because he said that it uh, it uh, quit after a half an hour. That was actually quite a big job. And uh, But now everything's back together, looking really good. And you know what? I know everybody loves the modern stuff with all the buttons and whistles, but look at how simple this is. And it's within reach of the operator, right? So let's just, I'm just going to put it on choke to see if it starts. Look at the tip of that needle, you guys. It's full of schmoo. So I'm going to put a new needle and seat in there, brand new. And uh, that might cure it, but maybe it's, it still could be puking out dirt, right? Oh, yeah. Look at that. There's crap on the back of that. So I'm going to get my, my carb cleaner. Wow. I'm going to clean up into that hole. With my shooter upper. New can. There's a little bit left in each one of those. There we go, guys. That's that's what's been going on. Now we're gonna let just a little bit of gas go. Clean it out. That one's softer than this one. That doesn't matter, I guess. Well, at least I found something, right? Can you see me down here? Oh yeah. There we go. We insert that into there. That's, so some of the goo that was inside that carburetor that didn't get washed out by the uh, ultrasonic cleaner ended up in the needle and seat. And I've seen that before, but I have spent so much time on this carburetor, I thought it was just a given, right? Okay. So here we go. I should have picked up on it that it was just a tiny bit sticky. Bolt. Me. Now you're looking down, you can't see what I'm doing. But I got, I need a hand coming out of my forehead, man. Okay. Yeah, that should start. Hmm. So we had trouble with a clogged carburetor because of a filthy, a filthy gas tank. So let me just put this back on, turn the gas off. I'm getting good at this now. I should consider doing this for a hobby. Okay. 
Okay, now I'll set it for a turn and a half again. Didn't make much difference, but half, one, and a half, and a bit. So that, uh, that tiny little gasket there only made about an eighth of a turn difference on the richness. Okay, so once we turn the gas back on, huh? So the tank was absolutely filthy. It clogged off the it clogged off the inlet again, eh? So we should see some bubbles now. There we go. Okay, it's gonna start good now. I just know it. And we're up. Yep, yeah, should go. Got it, or should I leave it sit overnight? <laughs> wow! So it clogged itself over in the period of time that it took me to clean up. And you saw the goo on the back of that little uh, needle, eh? Thanks, guys. Okay. You guys can see in there, I just did a straight drain from underneath the carburetor. I'm going I'm to pour that into here and do it again. Make sure you don't bump anything because there's dirt everywhere, right? Oh yeah. quite sad about that, eh? There's some more. That's enough to screw things up. Okay. Alright, this is how you take these tanks off. Well, there's a couple of ways. Oh, I just had a brain... I just had a brainstorm. I know. It's rare. I just disconnected the bottom. Of this tank, you can take it off. There we go. And we're going to take it over here. And we're going to do an experiment. Whoa, whoa baby. <laughs> oh, we're going to do an experiment. We're going to pour this gas into here. I've never had to do this with a plastic tank, eh? Okay, I took, I took my beveled bolts, which work great because they have like little scrapers on them. I put them in the tank and uh, look at what I got out of there. So now we're going to take the bolts out. We're going to keep doing this until we get clean gas. Recycle this. Get another container. Good thing I got lots of containers. I'm going to just filter this mildly. Put this back in here. We'll do one dirty wash and a clean wash. In fact, that will stay there. Oh, look at how much we got out. Okay, I heard the lovely ding. I just, this is the second time I've washed this tank out with the bolts. Okay, so that's, that's wash one, that's wash two. Can you guys see? 
Wash one and wash two. I'm going to keep going. But now I'm going to use clean fuel. And I will tell you how many tries it takes to get this done. Okay. Okay, this is rinse number five. Rinse number five. The gas is older and discolored. But it doesn't have sediment in it. Well, it does. Drop one. Good? Let's get it. There it is. So now, what I've been doing, same old thing, baby. I really hope to have very little sediment in this one. And I'll show you what's up after this. guys I was gonna show you something really cool but anyway there is number one rinse two you can still see it's pretty dirty three four and five just a tiny bit left we'll do one more I'm sorry all right how many times have you heard that today eh? this was pretty disappointing for me number one that it was this bad and number two that I missed it being this bad so now we're going to dump the uh, remainder into here. I've all, I switched. This was brand new gas. Rinse number six. New gas. Okay, almost looks like new gas, doesn't it? I challenge anybody to try that on any tank now. So now we're going to... We're going to filter this just like we've been doing. This is rinse number six. I, will and don't forget it was rinse number six. Let's we'll build some again. So there's rinse number five and rinse number six with clean fuel. I think coming from a 37 year old machine, that's okay now. You would almost use that fuel, wouldn't you? In fact, I'm going to rinse the drain plug on this guy. I want to see how much it drains down to, to nothing. Okay, we'll open this up. Ah, see we got a little bit of crud right out of the bottom there. Nope. Just going to let that sit. Now yeah, we'll put these bolts back in their bag. That's what I use them for. A couple times a year. And I'm, there's two things I'm doing with this experiment. I want to see how low the tank, the tank drains. Because I thought that the filter was holding gas back. There's a little mesh filter inside the bottom of that. And then we'll just let that drain out. Are we done draining? Pretty close, eh? Now, we got anything left in there? No. And I can see the screen. It's still intact. I, I can feel it. No. And the gas came out of there with a... Just right off the... <laughs> right from the very bottom, the first five drips, eh? 
I'm not going to use that fuel. I'm going to put it in my uh, used fuel. Well, that's pretty nice looking fuel. Hmm. Decision time. So let's put this back together onto the machine and see how we run. Thanks. So now I'm going to just uh, put this carburetor back together again. Okay, everything's... Alright, well we know it's going to start. It's just going to stay running. So we're going to need some fresh air. Pop the door open. Okay. So I'm going to leave it run for a few minutes, guys. This is the gift that keeps giving. Oh, the right height, I think. Good. Okay. That means it's going to start, but will it stay running? I'm worried about this one. 